Hey yo, it's Abby, and we are back with another episode of Gotcha Hunt. We're going to be looking at another two weeks worth of gotchas that have been released, and then we're going to go buy some and open them. Let's dive in. As always, we'll be starting on the Bandai website. We are starting at October 13th, and I think we're going to look through the 26th. It looks like they have restocked their Apex gotchas. I didn't realize this was a restock. The white Disney ones. Zero is kind of season appropriate. Oh, and then this one is a restock. I'm going to click on it. It's little miniature retro Sanrio items. I grew up drinking out of these cups. And I think I had, it was either my Melody or Hello Kitty wallet like this. You know, the vinyl plasticky ones. Did anyone else have those? They're 300 yen gotchas. So if we see them, maybe we'll check them out. I think we have a lot of gotchas to look at. So let's zoom through. These are a restock. They're really cute. Sanrio Angels. They're keychains and they're 300 yen. And then, oh, I've been seeing this character um, like on my Instagram reels and stuff. Little animations. Very cute. VT Cosmetics. Oh, I think I use their stuff. Oh, I use their um, toner, the Sika pads. It's really good. And then behind me is a Pandorobo Coaster Gacha. Mentos. Are these the shaker ones? Oh no, I think these are just miniatures. I saw mental shaker charms the other day when I was at the store. I think these are different though. Trains in um, Kuji style, raffle style. And then Romi, Romi, Uni, Unie, I don't know. I've never heard of this brand, but apparently it's like a good omiyage place. Baked goods and jam. Hmm. I guess these are real foods. And then, oh, little magazine covers. That's cute. It's for a baby magazine. Rerun! Okay, I saw pictures of these on social media and you can connect them so they look like they're all dangling. I kind of wouldn't mind getting like one of each or like both free runs. I love free run. Majirumiye. Don't know this anime. 18 trip. Didn't we see this stuff last time? I don't know what that is either. Well, then we have Koala March coasters and then Lakuno Mazazu. So Rakuno is like a different type of milk or like they call them dairy drinks. I don't know. There's like a variety of like milks and milk sub, sub, not even substitutes. I don't know. Anyway, um, Rakuno Gyunyu, pretty popular, I think. I'm not a huge fan of the flavor, but yeah. Look at the variety though. Milk, coffee, milk, milk in a bottle, milk, coffee in a bottle. And then they have all the boxed ones. Oh, that was the first week. There actually aren't that many. So now we're going to look through here. These are GTR Keys replicas. 500 yen premium gacha. Little characters. I don't, I'm not familiar. Keroro Gunso. Very popular. That's a restock. I guess the top rows always restock if they have any. Crayon Shinchan. Oh, the bathtub charms are cute. The little figures. Realistic forest animals. A thousand yen. We have to take a peek. <gasps> Is this Lorian? <laughs> oh, little fox friends. They do look really well made. Unfortunately, a thousand yen gachas aren't really in my budget, but I bet they're cool. Ooh, Infinity Saga. This is Marvel stuff. These are premium gachas. Cap Shield. Um, I forget what this is called. The time thing. Doctor Strange's thing. Kimoyo Beads. It's interesting seeing it in Katakana. And then Mark V Suitcase. And this is the third one, so there must be like a whole set you can collect. Oh, Disney with Dibong. Oh, we'll try for Stitch. I was gonna say, this is a fun series that I'd be tempted to get a set of, but none of these characters are like really mine, except for Stitch, so. Dumbo holding a bow is adorable though. Huda, Gari, Ame. No, Huda. <laughs> it's so hard to read katakana sometimes when you don't know what the word is. Furagaria, Memories. Another anime, I'm assuming. Capsule rubber mascot. Oh, Jack N. Okay, so I want a full set of these. These were my youth. They used to come with um, green tea. And you'd buy them at the Combini. And there were so many like designs and stuff. It was status to have like a bunch of them on your cell phone. Because yeah, we used to put straps on our cell phones. Honestly, get yourself a phone case that has a loop. A little hole to put straps on. We need to bring that back. I really want a full set of these. I know I don't need a full set, but it's so nostalgic. Just for funsies though, if they're in stock, we'll grab a few because I wasn't able to order them online. I'm actually still waiting for my October gotchas to come in the full sets that I pre-ordered. I think there's a delay on one of the sets, so that stream will be sooner or later. 
Oh yeah, JR Yamanote San sound drops. Okay, I'm kind of excited about these. When they came out, I was like, okay, train sound sound drops. Can't we have something more cute? But these are iconic. So every train station in Japan has their own melody. It usually has to do with something, you know, in the city, something famous. If there was a movie film, they'll use like a song from that, stuff like that, you know? My Hama Station at Disney plays Disney music. So it's kind of cool. And the Yamanote line is a loop in Tokyo, so you'll hear a lot of the melodies as you're riding the train, you know? We have Akihabara, Akihabara, oh, going both ways. So I guess they're different melodies, like the inner loop and the outer loop. I didn't know that, actually. Shinjuku, both sides, and then Shibuya, both sides. Oh no, there's one side for Shibuya and then Meguro. Oh, my big head, hiding it. Mofu sand, Mofu sand, Mofu sand, Mofu sand, rubber straps. They're the Sanrio collab. There's no Kuromi in this one. Looks like it's the boys for the most part. And Hello Kitty. Actually, I don't know what gender Koro Koro Kuririn is. They are a cute hamster. 300 yen. Mirimo de Pong. Crayon Shinchan. Dragon Ball. Miffy. Very cute, but not really personally drawn to any of those. Muse is a very well known soap brand. Oh, tea miniatures. And then Ojama Jo Doremi Capsule Horon Case. Oh, they're the wands, but they're 600 yen. Card capture Sakura coasters. They're really um, churning out the coasters right now. Super Sentai series. Legend capsule rubber mascot. <gasps> Anni Champartie. Okay, so I only know this fancy cake patissier um, place because I mean, it's very famous, so you guys have probably heard the name before, but it's very famous in Japan too. It's from France. And there was a YouTube workshop that I went to where they taught us how to make macarons. It was very random, but the, the purpose of the workshop was to learn how to like photograph and film the macarons. So it was cool. Nara Bundesu from Gundam. I've seen this green one before. Ooh, Aikatsu. I can't believe they're bringing Aikatsu stuff back. And this is like the OG Aikatsu. Look at the cards, they're keychains. I don't collect the rubber coasters just because I I just I use a different type of coaster and I don't know, it's just one of the things I don't really collect, but sliced cheese, butter, string cheese, uh, margarine. These are kind of iconic. I love these designs. This is one that would be cool to make like a shadow box with. And I'm always like, this is gonna be a cool display. And then I never do it, so yeah. Tom and Jerry rubber magnets, that's cute. Twice lovelies. Oh, they're 500 yen though. This is a cute little light. Yeah, light mascot. And then come in rider. More come in rider. Dragon Ball. Ooh, okay. I was wondering if these were new. I actually saw these when I was shopping the other day. And I think, yeah, it's the second series. These are tiny little mangas. I really want Aohara Idol and Kimi ni Todoke. Oh, Mei-chan no Shitsuji. I love this one too. Very good manga. They're 500 yen though. I want one though. And then we have, uh, I'm sorry. I know I offend someone every time. I'm like, oh, I don't know this anime. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm uneducated. But I don't know this anime. Nikke. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? It's a game. I get ads for it all the time. Looks like they are multi-cloth. I guess it's like a little tapestry. Shugokara and Sanrio. Oh, this is a fun collab. <gasps> Oh, that's cute. I love it when Sanrio collabs with animes. And then Akabon. So not gonna lie, I never went through um, testing into schools here in Japan. It's a whole culture, it's intense. I know that students buy these for the universities and colleges that they wanna get into. I don't know if they're like past entrance exams or like what kind of information is in there. I literally know nothing, but there is a huge section of these any bookstore you go to. Tokyo Ghoul. That's an anime that's been on my list forever that I've never watched. I should just sit down and watch it one of these days. Okay, and then we have another week in October, but we'll be coming back to that, I guess, in two weeks. Let's head over to Takaratomi. We are here. So I'm a little confused about their website. I think we looked through all of October's gotchas last time. It does look like they've added a few more, but yeah, some of them might be November. And also last time I didn't scroll down far enough, so we missed a few, but I got the gotchas anyway. So let's just scroll through the page to refresh our memory. I have a full set of these coming and these coming. 
I didn't see any of the blue lock stuff out when I went or the JJK one. That was two weeks ago. So they could be out now. Did we look at this peanuts one? Snoopy A, B, C, and D. Um, I need Snoopy with a mustache. This is an October one, we will find it. Oh my goodness, little animals making offerings. <laughs> They're 300 yen. Little shiny Kirby, I don't remember seeing that last time. Kira Kira Pendanto. They're like the little Sun Hoseki charms, I guess. I remember we saw the eye drops case. Did we see this Rikachan one? I really like these because they showcase all the older Rikachans and stuff, but it's just a printed image on the inside. And I think that's such a cop out. I'm like, if you're gonna make the miniature, make a miniature, you know? There's some Toy Story ones like that too. I'm like, no, I, mini brands did it. I know you guys can do it too. And like they made the cute cute Scout ones. They totally know how to make them. Ooh, these Pokemon Dreamy bracelets, they're October too. I saw a picture the other day and um, I need to find Gengar for my friend. I want Vulpix. Honestly, I want all of them so I can harvest them for beads because I think they might be a little small. Probably for kids, but the beads are so cute. They're 200 yen. It looks like they have a lot of Pokemon stuff coming out. Suri Suri Mascotto. I feel like we saw this last time or maybe I just saw a picture somewhere. These are cool. We got a Sylveon a while back. Very nice quality. So yeah, the Tommy website's a little confusing, but I think we're pretty caught up. I kind of want to get one of these villains water domes if they have them in stock. I bet it'll look cool. So yeah, I think it's off to the gotcha store with me. Let's see what I can find. So my first stop at the gotcha store was actually to get a eco bag because I brought bags with me, but then I forgot them in the car. So um, first gotcha, eco bag. So we can get more gotchas. And then I went around and looked for the ones that we saw on the sites and a lot of them were in stock. I found some Disney ones and I, yeah, we're not gonna talk about what I got because we're gonna open them after this, but I did find the Mofa sand and yeah, that, yeah, we, we can talk about that. It was Hanukkah though, unfortunately. But I did find the Mentos and they didn't have a lot of the new food ones. I'm kind of hoping that maybe I'll see them next time I go. Um, they had many, many Pokemon ones. Was quite excited to see a lot of new character stuff. I think next month I did do a peek. We're getting some Sanrio, so I'm excited for that. But in the meantime, I did get the restocked Sanrio miniatures and I only got one. I kind of wish I'd gotten two. I I don't know. There were just so many gotchas. I was kind of overwhelmed. Found the San X gotchas. I, I say found. I didn't know these existed until I went to the gotcha store. Was very, very happy to find these. I guess they're doing more San X, like all stars and oldies stuff now. Because remember we got the stickers last time? This time they had figures. And I got multiples of those. So you'll see which ones we got. Back to the Pokemon. Man, this was a summer themed one, so I have a feeling it's going to be gone soon. But we got a cute one and then, okay, this one, I think it's either like not slime, but kind of like a squishy, like a jelly. I don't know. We're going to find out when we open it up, but I found the premium manga gacha. These are 500 yen, but I think they're worth it just because it's such a high quality miniature and... Well, that's what we got. I didn't realize that the cover comes separately, so I couldn't tell which one we got. But then I found the 200 yen gacha. You guys know I love, that's my favorite word, 200 yen gacha. And I dropped it. I am back. Here is my haul. I think we have a decent amount of capsules today. We have quite a variety too. I found a lot of the new ones. Of course, my new gacha bag is actually themed to Gacha Gacha no Mori. thought that was cool. This will be a perfect eco bag for gacha hunting. A lot of blue and greens. It looks like we have 22 gachas. If anyone wants to count and confirm, that would be fantastic. That's a lot of gachas for a gacha hunt. I think it's because we found a few 200 yen gachas. Let's start opening them. I don't remember what's what, but let's open all the Pokemon bracelets first. Unfortunately, I don't think we got the Gengar. We have... Nyahao. Never mind, it's Nyoha. It is a bit tiny for me. It'll go on, but it's not comfy. I will say that. Not gonna lie, I thought I was just getting it for this bead, but look at... They're Pokeballs or Monster Balls. That's cool. Unfortunately, we did get a lot of green ones. 
so I will pull them out. But it's exciting to know that the beads are themed too. Third. We got Lokong or Vulpix. Adorable. Love the beads. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I love that so much. Something to add to the collection. Um, we got a yellow one. I think this is Pikachu, right? And then there's a pink one. I think it's that one. Let's open them both up and then we can take a look. Pikachu? Why do I want to say the pink one was Jigglypuff? Am I remembering correctly? Yeah. And I think, yeah, that, oh no, we have another. So a lot of the bulk was bracelets, but we did get a nice variety. So another Vulpix. I'm happy to have a double of this one though. So after I got so many and I was getting doubles, I was like, you know what? It's probably more practical to try and get a full set of these rather than getting all the greens and blues. So have those, very happy with them. We'll be taking them apart. Honestly, these make cute earrings. So yeah, I'm turning these into supplies basically, but was a very fun gotcha. Okay, that still leaves us with a bunch of capsules. Um, let's just grab this one. What are you? Oh, <laughs> I know what this one is. You guys remember like two, two gotcha hunts ago? I don't know. I, there was a set of Sanrio lights and I've been trying to get the Kuromi. I have doubles of literally everything but Kuromi. And I actually went gacha hunting with my friend and she got one too. She's like, if I get Kuromi, you can have it. But it wasn't Kuromi. And I was like, you know what? I'm feeling lucky. I'm gonna get one. And it was cinema roll, so yay. I need to stop buying from this machine. Next one, what are you? Oh. This is the little pudding or jelly cups. And it looked, I don't think it's slime, but I think it's at least squishy. I'm not quite sure. I was looking at the packaging and I was like, touch it. So there are pudding cups, strawberry pudding, mikan jelly, fruit onion dofu, banana yogurt, oh, and soda jelly, which would be blue. And it looks just like a normal keychain. You can totally keep it like this. This is like how you would find it in the supermarket. But I swear it was like, open it. Toropuru dessert mascot. Wasn't this the brand that we did the slime ramen? Now I'm scared, do we open it? But what if there's nothing inside? Do we do it for science? We're gonna do it. Unwrap the packaging. It still looks good, even without the plastic. Looks like it stays in there. I mean, it says toro puru, which is like, puru, puru means like jelly-like, but toro toro, I don't know, like not creamy, but uh, anyway. How, is this like a lid? Is it a sticker situation? Oh my goodness, it's happening. Oh, there is something in there. Okay, and it is a sticker, so you could put it back on if you wanted. Maybe we'll try to put it back. Oh! Whoa, that was way stickier than I expected. Oh. It doesn't, like, leave residue on your hands, but that will definitely accumulate dust. It's like a pudding! Wait! It does seem to be like stuck to the sides. They probably just poured it in here, but it is very sticky. Okay, that's cool. So this is banana yogurt. I like that. It's like a little secret kind of fidget toy, I guess you could have with you. Um, I would be scared carrying it around like this, just like that. So maybe wrap it up again. I don't know. But there's the packaging, banana yogurt. It looks so realistic. I love that it's interactive. That's so cool. How about all the San X ones next? I did go back and get a few more because 
I love Sanex. Like right now, Sanrio is popular and I love Sanrio. Sanrio is getting all the love that they deserve, but I'm really excited to see the Sanex All-Stars making a comeback because I feel like Sanex was more popular when I was littler. Littler? Younger? More little? Tare Panda! So these are just plastic figures. I'm really excited. I, I like gotchas like this. I like figures more than keychains. We have the blue one. I feel like Rulakuma and Sumiko Gurashi were getting the spotlight for the longest time. So, <gasps> Monokuro Boo! I'm trying to think if they have any like recent new characters. Do the Monokuro Boos have names? They, they do, right? Oh, these are also really nice figures. They're nice and... They're matte, but they're glossy, you know? Not glossy, but smooth. So, little monokuro boos. Tare panda. I think there's more. I think I got two from each machine. Here it is, but it's a double. It's a double tare panda. Which is always the risk if you're not getting a full set. I'm sure I can find someone to pass this on to. He's a cutie! So, that's a double. And then I think I got one more. Oh, here it is. I really wanted Afro Ken. Oh, doesn't want to peel off. There you go. We got Jinbei-san, the whale shark. Jinbei-san was super popular. Oh, you know what? Sentimental Circus was so popular too. That was more recent. I'm trying to think of like their newest IP. They push Rulakuma, Sumiko Gurashi, Sentimental Circus, Jinbei-san. These are more recent ones. Like Monokuro Bu and Tare Panda are older. I mean, Jinbei-san's been around too though. I had a friend who basically identified as Kogepon. Mikan Boya and Shapo, Shapo. I want more of these. These honestly were full setters. I didn't know they existed. They're by Koro Koro. I don't know if these companies do sites with like calendars and stuff. I'd like to keep up with their releases. These are so good. I need a Sanex shelf. There's a yogurt. What's this little one? Who are you? Oh, I see Hello Kitty. Did I get two of these or did I only get one? Ah! <laughs> it pinched my finger. That hurt. Oh, it's the Hello Kitty calculator. It says, I can count. So I didn't get the cups or the Tuxedo Sam clock, which kind of were the ones that I wanted, but we have a really cute Hello Kitty calculator. There's actually a Kuromi one that's new that I want, like a real calculator, but it's kind of expensive. It's 2,000 yen. It might even be more than that. Just feels a little pricey, you know? What are you? You have two. Oh, it's Pooh Bear. Oh, this is the ribbon one. I was trying to get Stitch. We got Pooh Bear, who is a cutie. Cannot deny. But I just really wanted Stitch. Oh, this is so well made though. Also, I don't know why my finger's peeling. Please ignore. Look at his little cheeks. He almost looks like he has the wrong color blush though. <laughs> enhance, enhance. His bow's a little wonky too. I'll try for Stitch again. We have a lot of big capsules today. I see a Mofusan looking at me. It's the Sanrio strap. Of course, it's Hangyodon. There's no surprise at this point. I need to do research. I need to do it for science and see if there's actually like extra Hangyodons in there. The way that I attract them is bizarre. <laughs> Why can't I get this one open? Oh my goodness. I don't like this capsule. Okay, I'm just gonna squeeze it out. It's a weirdly shaped capsule too. So we have Hangyodo Mofusan. Grrr. Cute, but not my character. That's okay, I know Hangyodo has a lot of fans. Oh, this one. I remember getting because my friend was trying to get her burb and was having a hard time. So I was like, let me try. You know what, maybe I'll get lucky. No. Got the green and yellow one, but these are really cool. I'll show you guys in a second. I have two. She wanted that one, the yellow and gray cockatiel. 
I did do it twice. I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe second time is a charm. It was not. Whoa. But look at them. They're little, it's called kotori aisu, which is like little bird ice candies. And they're in a vinyl packaging and then a little plastic, I guess, ice candy. And they're adorable little straps. Ice cream themed burbs in packaging. I hope my friend can get the one that she wants. They're so cute. Look at the little faces. They even have beaks. They're a little 3D. It was really fun going gacha hunting with a friend because you end up looking at machines that you usually don't look at and like when they get one you're like, oh wait, I kind of like that one too. So, I don't know if we ended up with anything too different today than usual. Pokemon! Oh, and it's Psyduck. I was so excited when this one came out because it's called Gira Gira Sunshine. And honestly, I think I would have liked all of them. I like Quaxley, but I really wanted Psyduck. Also, I think this is so funny, the inner tube. Psyduck is one of my favorite Pokemon, so look at it. It's just a little Psyduck holding a beach ball, I guess. Kind of looks like a candy. He looks so silly. A simple one, but cute. Four more to go. Hmm, we have a good assortment. Got a bunch of doubles too. Can't forget the bracelets. Um, I want to save that one for last because I'm excited to see which one we got. Oh, they had a lot of the new Pokemon ones out. And I got, ta-da! This was what, the fire and ice? And we got Boosta, Flareon. I think I would have liked the ice types. I really like Vulpix. That's okay. Let's put this together. It should go with my Sylveon that we got ages ago. I remember this was a bit of a pain to put together. I think the issue was it, the pieces didn't really stay in. Oh, it's, it's working. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Yeah, if you want to be moving this around, if you're going to be moving it around, I would maybe glue it in. Look at that little backdrop. It's so cool. Very, very dynamic. Do you think they're going to do all the evolutions? Because this would be a set that I would collect because I just, I like how it looks. If they do a leaf heal and I need it. If they're doing all the elements, I bet they will, right? Because I always include an evolution, I feel like. I'll have to go find my Sylveon and we'll see how I feel. <laughs> oh, it's another San X one. I kind of remember having some extra change at the end, so I was like, you know what, I want another one. And I got my Mangoma! We're getting all the black and white ones. Look at little Mami Goma. Oh, these are so cute. I love them. This is collection one. I guess they just released collection one and two at the same time. Yeah, I need Afro Ken. Afrokan and Chapeau and Kogepam. And what are you? Looks like a strap of some sort. We didn't get many food ones this time, did we? Oh, speaking of food ones, oh, I got the new Mentos. They did have a lot of the new ones out. That was very nice. I try to go at the end of the week, but then you risk the popular ones being sold out, so it's hard knowing when to go. This is a fun keychain. This is a good one to put in the little gacha pouches because it's not too big, you know, but it's a snack that everyone knows. Is it really this colored? I guess they are kind of pastel and muted, huh? Mini Mentos Cola. I haven't had a Mentos in so long. I used to love grape Mentos. Then I kind of stopped eating them. I still like Mentos. I like Mentos better than Haichu, I will say that. And then last but not least, our premium gacha of the day. We didn't get any raffles or kujis or lights. They didn't have many cute lights, to be honest. Okay, here we have our manga. And does it come with the cover? Oh yeah, I have to cut it off. <gasps> we got Mei-chan no Hitsuji, Mei's butler. So it's a little bit of a DIY. They're premium, but I think they're worth it. Moment of Truth is the actual manga. Oh, it is! Wait! It's like a whole... Stop, what? That's so cool! Remember we got the travel guide a few gacha hunts ago? I love that they're making the miniature mangas. 
Oh, that kind of makes me want to collect it. Imagine a whole series in miniature form. I wonder if people read this. Maybe a little small to read. Might need a magnifying glass. But as a miniature lover, so good. And here's the cover. This one is definitely a highlight. Also, if you haven't read Maze Butler, it's old, but it's good. I love this one. Okay, so that brings us to the end. You know what? We had a good, fun assortment. We got a lot of the San X figures. Got the bracelets. I'm so excited about the beads. And then some Pokemon. We actually got a lot of Pokemon. Only one Disney, one Sanrio, Mofu Sand, some birdies, two food items, oh, another Sanrio, and a manga. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. For me, definitely the manga is a highlight, but like cuteness wise, um, I like the bow one, but maybe Stitch. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment and give it a thumbs up. It helps it boost the video and it helps it be seen by more people, which in turn means that I can go on more gacha hunts. So thank you so much for supporting and watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!